Gujarat, Maharashtra, Goa, Karnataka, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Odisha and West Bengal. Of these, Gujarat has the longest coastline in India. The coastal plains of India can be divided into two, Western Coastal Plains and Eastern Coastal Plains. This is the Western Coastal Plain of India. The Western Coastal Plain is the area between Arabian Sea and the western guards. It extends from the run of Kush to Kanyakumari. The western coast can be further divided into three. Gujarat coastal plains in the north, Kongan coastal plains in the central and Malabar coastal plains in the south. Backwaters and estuaries are the features of western coastal plain. Depth is generally higher on the western coast. Therefore, Ports are more common on the west coast. This is the eastern coastal plain. It is an area between the Bay of Bengal and the eastern guts. The eastern coastal plain is comparatively wider than the western coastal plain. North Sirkas is the northernmost part of the eastern coastal plain. And the Coromandel coastal plain is the southernmost part of the eastern coastal plain. Another feature of the eastern coast plains is the formation of deltas. Most of the peninsula rivers we are familiar with drains into the eastern coast, that is, into the Bay of Bengal. These rivers deposit heavily in these areas. This is the reason for the formation of deltas. Let's see how the coastal people live. Fishing is the main occupation of the people in the coastal plains. Tourism also has great possibilities here. Rice and coconut are the major agricultural crops. What is this islands? Islands are the landforms that are completely surrounded by water. When you look at the map, you can see some islands. The Lakshadweep islands are the island groups in the Arabian Sea. There are 36 islands in this island group, of which only 11 are Habit. Bangaram, Kadamath, Minikoi, Kavarati, Agati, Androth, Kalpeni, Amindivi, Chetiyath, Vitra and Kittan are the major islands. Kavarati is the capital of Lakshadweep. Coral reefs are the major feature of Lakshadweep. People depend largely on sea for their sustenance. As agriculture is because here, fishing and tourism are the major sources of income. Like this, we have a familiar island group in the Bay of Bengal. Yes, Andaman and Nicobar Islands. The Andaman and Nicobar Islands include about 200 islands of Andaman group and 19 islands of Nicobar group. Most of these islands are not inhabited. Many of them have dense forest. The only active volcano in India, Barren Island, is in Nicobar. Port Blair is the capital of Andaman and Nicobar Islands. The Indira Point at the southernmost tip of the Nicobar Islands is considered as the southern end of India. By now, you have understood the influence of physiographic divisions in the life of people in India. See you later.